Hey guys, it is your lower body hit day today. We are doing a timer that we've already done before, except I'm kind of mixing up the circuits, I think. I think when we did this on day one, I think we did A, B, A, B, but today we're gonna go, so 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, A, B, C, A, B, C, although I could be wrong, we could have done the same timer, whatever. It's a different workout, it is a lot of leg burning today. So be prepared. You're gonna need your water, obviously, and you're gonna wanna have maybe an exercise mat um, nearby because we are gonna be um, kind of coming down onto the ground for a few exercises. So something soft nearby and dumbbells. I've got my 15 pounders for this. I'm either gonna be using both of them, one of them, or none of them. Like I said, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, three exercises per circuit. So if we ever do a single-sided move, we are always gonna start on the left leg, no matter what. So if I forget, don't worry about it, you always start on your left leg. I'm probably gonna forget. Okay, six circuits to get through, let's get warmed up. All right guys, let's start just by bringing that heel to your bum, stretching out the front of the thigh, warming up the hamstring. <sighs> just getting everything warm. Make sure that core is engaged, belly button's pulled in. Let's bring the arms into it too. You might be a little sore from our last workout. <sighs> maybe you're sore, maybe you did something extra yesterday. Maybe you're a little sore from that. I know my back is a little sore. <sighs> I did a little back workout. All right, let's go ahead and squat down and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, squat down, push the arms forward and squeeze, making sure those knees don't fall in. Getting as deep into that squat as is comfortable right now. I know we're still getting warm. A few more here. Get those legs warmed up and active. Last one. Good, just go ahead and step it here, rock it side to side. Get everything warmed up as you feel more and more warm. You can step it a little bit further, get a little deeper. Play with turning the toes up. Finding where you need to get loose. And now I'm gonna straighten those legs out and just walk from one side around to the other and back around. I'm already out of breath today. I guess I'm just really excited. Keep going. <sighs> Let's do one more back and down and we'll meet in center here. Hang for a sec. Just kind of sway back and forth and then heel toe it together and then roll it up nice and slow shoulders back and down let's roll it down and walk it out to plank so roll down walk it out to plank and come back up shoulders back and down stand tall let's roll down again walk it out to plank now when i'm down here in plank go ahead and lift one leg up squeeze the glutes lower it down and come back up Roll it up. Same thing on the other leg. Roll it down. Walk it out. Lifting the opposite leg. <sighs> Squeeze. Lower. Come back up. Roll it up nice and slow. Shoulders back and down. Let's stretch the hip flexor. Step back. Push the hips forward. Reach it up and switch. Stepping back. Reach it up, switching again, push the hips forward, reach, switching again, push, reach, one more on each side, step back, reach, and other side, step back, reach, good, let's just jog it out right here. We do have a couple burpee variations, so get those wrists warm. Bring that heart rate up. A little extra stretch on the wrist if you need it. All right, we're gonna pick up the pace, more high knees here. Breathing. 
switching now, jumping jacks. Franny's barking, Buddy's barking. All the dogs are barking. All right, I'm gonna go shut the dogs up and we'll get started. Shoulders back and down, chest proud. We are ready to work out. Buddy, Freddy! All right, my friends, our first exercise is a jump forward, jump back, jump forward, snatch. So I'm gonna put the dumbbell in front of me where when I jump forward from a squat, we're gonna stay in a squat a good amount of this interval here. Jump forward, snatch it up with one hand, lower it down, jump back, forward, opposite hand snatch. We got it, we go in five. Get ready for it, find your positioning. Here we go. Jump forward, snatch, down, jump back. Again, we got it. See how it works? Easy peasy. Jump back, forward, snatch. Burning those legs all ready. Try to land soft. Back flat, chest proud. Two. Yes, coming all the way down, planting the left foot. Single leg bridge. Weight on the hips. We'll drive it up in five. Three. Here we go. Up and down. Breathing. Oh, that car alarm is going off again. Somebody can't figure that car alarm out. Ah, they turned it off. Press through that heel. Pubic bone pulls to your nose. We're on that left leg, right? Just like I said. Eight. Three. And coming all the way up. Same leg is gonna work. Hold the dumbbell at the chest. We're gonna do a Buddha squat, so step back all the way down, sink into that heel, drive it up. Here we go. Step back, sit into that back heel, drive it up. Again, back, sit, all the way up. If you are having trouble compressing the back knee or you're lacking mobility in that back foot, simply just do a reverse lunge. 10 seconds. Five, get low if you can. Two, yes, dumbbell between the feet. We're gonna hop forward, snatch, hop back. We're from the top now. In three, here we go. Forward, snatch, back. Twenty seconds. Making sure you're breathing. If you want to make weird noises with me, do it. I always welcome the power noises. On my legs, okay. Right leg now. We're going into that single leg bridge. We go in three. Here we go. Up and down. You're not gonna have a huge range when we're doing that single leg bridge, especially with a weight on the hip, but man, you are gonna feel it. Pressing the hips up, tucking the pelvis in. Think about exhaling every time you push the hips up. Three. Good, all the way up. We're gonna do that Buddha squat on the other leg. So planting the right leg forward, left leg will step back. In, three, here we go. Back, sit, drive it up. Back, sit. Drive it up. Don't let that knee 
of the front leg fall inward. Remember, if you're having trouble with this, you can just stick to a reverse lunge. We got it, guys. 10. My buns. Three. Okay, shake it out, punch it out. We are moving on. Next exercise is a doubled up squat jack. So I'm gonna move my dumbbell. You have a little bit of time to recover here. You got about 25 seconds. So check it out. Next move, doubled up squat jack. So like a regular squat jack, right? We move fast, we're just gonna double up, double up, double up, double up. It's tough. We go in 10 seconds. Sink it down, get ready. Oh my, my right butt cheek still. Ah. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Just trying to move fast. You can bring the arms into it if you want. 15, you're halfway. 10, holy smokes, five, three, press. I'm gonna take one dumbbell. We're gonna go reverse lunge, curtsy, lunge, curtsy, stay low, keep going. Left leg plants, right leg back. Reverse lunge. Curtsy, lunge, curtsy. I'm not coming out of it. Lunge, curtsy. Catch your breath here. Oh my gosh, you're over halfway. 10. Holy Toledo, two. Ah, okay, dumbbell out of the way. Pop it out to plank, into squat. Lift your heels for a little hee hee. Back, repeat, no jumping, just lifting the heels. Here we go, out, in, lift. Out, in, lift. I want that squat to be solid and stable before you lift the heels. You're over halfway. Eight. Back flat. Two. It hurts. <laughs> ah. Okay, what is it? Doubled. Squat jack. We go in eight seconds. Five. Double up squat jack. Here we go. In, in. I'm in like a quarter squat this whole time. Not super deep. 10. Why does this suck so bad? Five, three, whoo. All right, curtsy, reverse lunge, breathing, other leg, right leg plants. Here we go, reverse, curtsy, reverse, curtsy. Breathing. Anytime we're doing like a pulsing move, it's really easy to want to hold your breath. So stay aware. Oh my gosh. Why? Three. Ah. Dumbbell down. Oh my gosh. Burpee. Um, squat. Hee hee. Okay. Five seconds, you know, 
you know. Here we go. Out, in, solid squat. Hee <laughs> hee. We got it, guys. This is hit. So we're working at max effort. 10, oh my legs, five, three, ow. Okay, we're resting and moving on. All right, our next exercise is a hip hinge or Romanian deadlift. Don't worry, you have like 30 seconds of rest here. We a Romanian deadlift, so I'm gonna come down, hinge at the hips, and then I'm gonna come pop them up as I pop into a squat, then I'm gonna come here, pulse, pulse, pop it back in, down, up, pulse, pulse. I'm gonna use both my dumbbells. I haven't even tried this with my dumbbells yet, so I know I've done it before in the past, but I haven't done it today. So let's see how it goes. We go in three-ish, three, here we go. Hinge down, up, pop, pulse, pulse, back in. Down, up, pulse, pulse. Good. Down, up, pulse, pulse. Down, pulse, pulse. Back stays flat. If you're feeling this in your back at all, you're gonna control that move even more. Maybe even drop that weight. Ah. Coming all the way down, dumbbells aside. Plant that left leg. We're gonna go single leg thrust, hands back and behind like a crab thrust. Into left foot. Up. So you're working that glute and hamstring of the leg that's pressing into the ground. If you need to make this a little less intense, you can always bring that foot up and over here. Still gonna feel that glute burning, but it's gonna make it a little easier. Three, oh my gosh. Rest, ah. Okay, we're coming all the way up and we're gonna skate. So make sure those dumbbells are not somewhere where you're gonna land on them. Make sure there's no sweat on the ground. We skate. You can go any intensity you want with this. You can go big up and over. You can go long and wide, or you can go deep. 15 seconds. Oh my gosh, my one butt cheek. Huh. Five, three, and, uh, okay, dumbbells. We hinge, pop, squat, pulse, pulse. Three, here we go, down, up, Pulse, pulse, hinge. Stay in control. And again, if that back is hurting, you can always just use one dumbbell or do it without any weight at all. Five, two, All right, dumbbells out of the way. Planting the right foot. Who falling down. We got that thrust. We go in three. Here we go, up and down. Pressing through that heel. Tuck that chin to your chest so you're not letting it fall back. Another way to modify this is to actually set that opposite foot down. Just don't use this leg to assist you. Otherwise, do the best you can, guys. Five seconds, and then we skate, and then we're halfway. Ah! 
Thank you. All right, let's skate side to side in 10, like booty sweat on the ground here in five, three, here we go. Make sure you're controlling that breath. Bring the arms into it. 20. 15. Oh my gosh. 10. Almost done, last five. All right, rest guys. We are halfway through. Let's get a quick sip of water before moving on. So you got about 40 seconds here. Quick sip. Next exercise is gonna burn. As if they all haven't already burned. I'm gonna take one dumbbell. I'm gonna plant the left leg. Dumbbell in the right hand. What I'm gonna do is put that down while I show you. You can see it here. But I'm just going to tuck that pelvis, drop down right in between the feet, do a little hop. Oh, let's do hop on both feet, actually. And then I'll come up and then I'll do like a deadlift here or a hip hinge, back down, hop. We go in three. Right here. Split the stance. Drop down, jump. You'll have to lower back down again and then hinge, down, jump it, down, hinge, down, jump, land soft, hinge. You've got about 10 seconds. Make sure that knee is in line with the hip. It's not falling in, right? Three, how's that balance? Rest. All right, I'm gonna use both my dumbbells for the next one. Pop them on my shoulders, turn the toes out, sumo or plie squat. Down and up. I want you to try not to stick your butt out here, but instead tuck it under, think ballerina. So this is a plie squat or sometimes I call it a sumo squat, toes out. Breathing here, guys. 10. Inner thighs, outer thighs. Three. Rest. Dumbbells down. We're going to run six high knees. Drop it into a squat. Six high knees. Drop into a squat. Move fast. Your legs get a little rest here. Three. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Drop. Eight, four, five, six. Eighteen seconds. Ten. I can't talk. Five. Three. Okay, all right, right leg forward. Dumbbells in the left hand. <sighs> Same thing we did before. Split jump, hinge. Here we go. Down, hop, down, up and hinge. <sighs> down, hop, down, up and hinge. We got it, guys. I am dripping in sweat. Eight seconds. Oh my gosh, that burns. Thank you. All right, sumo squat or plie squat. Toes out. We go in five, get the dumbbells. Here we go. Down and up. Slow and controlled. Knees 
track with the second and third toe. So if you lack the mobility, you have to turn those toes in a little bit. Think about strong arches in the feet. So press through the heel, but grip the floor with the entire foot. Yes. All right, we run the high knees and then drop into a squat. Six, drop. We go in three. Here we go. Two, three, four. Getting that heart rate up. Letting those legs shake out a bit. 15, you're halfway. Eight. Five. Two. Rest, we are moving on. All right, guys, let's finish this strong. We've got two circuits left. This next circuit is a little less intense on the cardio. Yay, but the next, the circuit after that, we, we pick it up again. All right, next exercise. I'm gonna come all the way down. I'm going to push my heels into the ground. You know how we did that single leg thrust? We're gonna do it with two legs, except we're gonna play with um, having the feet facing forward and then out, in and out. We're gonna do that through this whole circuit, but changing the feet, different exercises. So I'm thrusting up, switch them out, down, out, in. So I'm making just a little rainbow with my feet, with every rep, out and in, out and in, out and in. You've got 10 seconds, your hamstrings, your glutes should be talking to you. Again, that chin is tucked to your chest, two, Yes, I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. We're gonna do the same thing, but in a squat. So I'm gonna squat down, toes forward, and then I'm gonna switch while I'm down. So we're down, switch them out. Up, in, up, out, up, got it? In, up, 20 seconds. We got it, guys. Legs is burning. Woo! 10. Five, we're switching during that pulse. Three. Ah. Two dumbbells, we're gonna do the same thing, but in a deadlift. Hip hinge, except I'm gonna make that switch when I'm standing up tall. Start with the toes out. We'll hinge down. Here we go. Down, up, toes forward. Down, up again. Down, up, back is flat. Shoulder blades are in your back pockets. Chest is proud. Squeeze the glutes to bring you up. We're really kind of torching the backside of the body here. Three. Good, from the top. Anyone's buns on fire? Mine are. All the way down. We make that switch of the feet while we're thrusting up. Here we go. Up and out. Out and in. So I'm just changing the angle of the foot and that changes everything when it comes to hitting your glutes. Keep that pubic bone tucked, pulling towards your nose, right? That way you're not arching your back to, oh my God, my butt. Okay, dumbbell, squat in and out, making that switch when we're down. In five, <clears throat> three, here we go. 
down, out, up, out, in, up, oh my gosh, up, 20, 15, we got it guys, 10, anyone else is buns burning? Three. Oh my gosh. Abs pulled in. Yes. Other dumbbell. <clears throat> Hip hinge. Toes out and in. I'm going to start with my toes out. Two. Here we go. Down. Up. Forward. Down. Up. Out. Down. Up. Forward, really focusing on using the glutes and the hamstrings. Don't lock the legs out. Don't lock the knees. You're gonna bend that knee just a little bit so you can shoot your bum to the back of the room. Two. Ha. All right, guys, we're moving on. This is our final circuit. We're starting with an angled lunge. So I'm gonna step forward into a front lunge. I'm gonna have it come right in front of my body there. From there, I'm gonna come out to an angle and into almost like a deeper hingy lunge. Then I'll come back forward, step it together. Okay, so we go out, 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 back in. We're staying on one side, so my left leg is gonna go out first. Right leg is back and behind, and we won't do it till we go through it again. Here we go, forward, side, forward, back. Again, forward, side, forward, back. Forward, side, forward, back. 20 seconds. If you're a glutton for punishment, you can always add a weight to this. I'm not going to. Eight seconds. Five, two, ah. all right, don't need a dumbbell for this one. I'm gonna go for a ski jump. So I'm going to jump right here. So it's a narrow jump squat, essentially. We really want you to use the arms, right? Like we're skiing down the mountain. So each time I'm exploding, pushing myself down the mountain to go as fast as I can. Five, three, rest. Okay, breathing here. We're gonna run a sprint. Three counts. One, two, three. Pop it out. Back in, sprint. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. Down, in. Down, in. Two, three. One, two, three. You can count in your own time. Five. Okay, from the top, lunge forward. Now it's that right leg. Narrow, out, in, together. Into that angle, together. Stay in control. Pressing through that heel, gripping through that entire foot. Almost done, guys. You got about five. All right, ski jump, 
uh, quick feet, burpee, and then we're done. Down the mountain in five. This is definitely the hardest move of the day. It helps a lot if you exhale with that jump. I'm not going super deep into that squat, right? I'm going more like a quarter squat with a hinge. Five, three. All right, running that static sprint, pop it out, and we're done. We go in three, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Anyone's legs not working? One, two, three. Two, three, you're halfway. Two, three. Counting in your own time, at your own pace. We're so close. Two. Breathe. Oh my gosh. Breathe. Let's cool it down. Stretch it out. So let's let that heart rate come down. Grabbing a quick sip of water when you feel ready for it. We're just gonna kinda pace the floor for a few more seconds here so I can let the heart rate come down and we don't like pass out. <laughs> All right, when you're ready to start kicking the butt, we're gonna cool it down. Being mindful that you're not hunched over right now. So stand tall, stand proud. You did good. We did it, it's done. The hard stuff is over. All right, just like we did the other day, we're gonna come down and decompress. So pushing those knees apart, kind of relaxing. Oh, I got a crack. Relaxing the core so you can kind of crack that lower back, decompress. And since we did so much work in those quads today, we're gonna stretch them twice. We're gonna stretch them up here. So go ahead and grab that foot, push the hips forward. We're gonna get it over and done with here as well as um, in front pigeon down on the ground. <sighs> Breathing here. You did good. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Even if you had to modify the heck out of this workout, you made it to the end and I am proud of you for sticking to it and listening to your body. Go ahead, switch legs. I'm using a wall because I have no balance left. <sighs> I am just dripping. It is really lovely all right now i'm gonna go ahead and roll it down so slow into a downward dog so take your time whoever goes the slowest gets a prize today so think about rounding that back all the way down and then walk it out, downward dog, pedal the feet, <sighs> stretching through the calves, the back of the legs. And you know the drill here. I'm gonna lift my right leg up, and then I'm gonna bend the knee, fall open here. And when you're ready for it, go ahead and bring that knee up and under for that pigeon stretch. <sighs> Feel free to relax all the way down into it today. Just an FYI, guys, my aunt seemed to be gone. So that's good news for all of us. I probably killed them all accidentally, just jumping on everybody. <laughs> Sorry guys. All right, if, if you can, grab that back foot. You can always use a strap or something to help you get that back foot. 
and then play with the angle, right? So push that foot out, pull it in, find where you need to deepen that stretch. Maneuver, maneuver. For me, if I push that foot out just a bit and then pull it closer to me, I get an awesome stretch. All right, go ahead and release. Coming all the way back into that downward dog. Pedal for a sec. I'm gonna scoot out just a little bit. And when you're ready, you lift that left leg up and then bend open. And then bringing it up and under when you're ready for it. Sinking down, relaxing into it. Whatever feels good today. This is my tighter side. So I often have to maneuver a bit before I'm comfortable here. Yeah. We did it. We're halfway through week two. Got our upper body hit workout in a couple days, which is going to be so fun. All right, grabbing that back foot. As long as you look forward to it, right? If you're like, it's going to be so fun. It just might be fun in a weird way, right? That was fun, but also torture. But I feel amazing now that we're done. Proud of myself for doing it. Deep breaths here, guys. It's almost over. The hardest part is definitely over. And release that foot. Bring both the feet together here. Sit up tall. Let the knees fall out to the sides. You can roll that neck. We are done. You can sit here as long as you want, but I do recommend going to get something to eat very soon. I'm gonna go eat right now. Probably gonna need to take a shower fairly, fairly quickly. And that's it, guys. I will see you in a couple days for our upper body hit. Until then, I love you, proud of you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>